All right. We're back with a little bit more twist today, and we're going to be playing some Nazoth. I played against Nazoth a few times, but I haven't actually gotten to play as Nazoth yet. We'll see how this goes. Um, kind of just like a turbo value engine. I guess I should have read the passive and hero power, but we'll do that when we get into game. Priest. Should be an okay matchup if I can get an early enough start. Kind of loud, isn't it? Oh, I think my game sound got turned up a bit much. There we go. None of these are... Like, this is tempting because I need something, but, like, I need earlier stuff. I've got a seemingly solid amount of early game, but I didn't draw it. So we might just die. Oh, we are coming, all right. Uh, so the passive is, after you play a Death Rattle minion, trigger its Death Rattle. The hero power is, summon a 1-1 one -one copy of the last Death Rattle minion you played. Sorry to the opponent for the rope. Oh, this is horrible. I swear I have early game minions in here. At least my deck tracker is telling me so. I think it might need to be the piggyback imp just so that we have something that challenges the 2-4. Rude. I was considering using that. Now this will be bad if they have something like a city tax. Let's just hope they don't have something like a city tax. Feel the sun bear down upon you. Kind of rude, not going to lie. I need to start making progress on their health, so getting a blast to the face is probably a good idea here. And just having that in the hero power pool. I think I want to go here, then hero power play this. Uh, or I could actually just, like, some, you know. They're making an unfortunate amount of progress because of the <laughs> amount of health that they were able to get through before I was able to get stuff on board because I was so slow to get stuff on board. They played a Deafen, but they also do have the Shard, which is... Maybe this isn't as good of a matchup as I was hoping for. Pick me, pick me. Okay. Face here. Uh, 
that is fine. It's also kind of fine. Hero power to get another copy. And then here. This is actually a pretty big deal if... Ooh, speaking of. But this is a pretty big deal if uh, they clear this board. Which is like my biggest concern right now. It's just getting cleared. So, getting the Wretched Queen down. It's a big deal. It sets taunts, too, so they can't get the face damage, which seems important. And then we just shove this next turn. And that is the shard gone now, so one less thing to worry about, but... Still not out of the woods yet. As long as we're doing more than six per turn, I suppose. Can get some decent value off of this if they play something like a Soul Mirror. Or even a Behemoth. Just go straight into this. That works too, I suppose. Got an idea here. The scourge will consume you. Okay. Still got the uh, the one ones in the res pool. Mm. Well, that went poorly for me. So I need to get to some card draw and or damage spells, I suppose. This next. Sure. Raid here, raid here, go face and play this. They have two of my cards, one of which is a play dead. That's okay. Oh, I got very lucky. If they gotten a Stoneborn General off of that, I would have been Omega cooked. Like, that would have been absolutely devastating. Let me show you the other side. Do I just go here? I ain't no 
I think I'd rather have another teacher's pet. Just for the stickiness of my minions. Because those are both spells. They're holy spells in hand. So I need something that survives. That... This is kind of what I was talking about, I guess. So now I can hero power back into the teacher's pet. Let's see what I get here first, though. I don't think I need the armor right now so much as I need to keep applying pressure. These guys are funny as well, so. Plus two? That's not a very big number. Loop that. Claw machine would go kind of crazy. Oh, no. That's so much healing. Twenty-four almost kills me already. To go here, trade here, face, and then defile. I don't currently have a two. Oh my god. Why is this so difficult? Why can't I get anything that gets me additional resources is also kind of an issue right now. Probably want to save this weapon swing for when I like actually need it, like this board state. Doesn't w jive well with a uh, triggering the death rattles right now. here. I 
as well as deal the damage. And I think we hold so that we have the board space. concerned about this. If that is allowed to go face, though, I just die on the spot, so I can't take that risk. But it's also just kind of risky, like, if they have any amount of healing. On top of the, uh, the hero power, I also just kind of die on the spot, so... Pray for me. quite bad. That was an extraordinary top deck for them. I have no capacity to win from here. Like, because I can't attack into that, I can't let it live, I can't get to their board. That, uh, oh my god. The fact that they played two Stoneborn Generals over the course of this game and I got zero to summon is, uh, pretty rough for me. Um. Like, I'm just stuck. Unless I somehow summon a divine... No, there's literally no way I can get through this. Without just having them win the game on the spot. Yeah, rip. Aside from the Dead Ringer, every single card that draws a card or generates a card for me did not get drawn. That was, uh, like... I, I maintain I think that was a good matchup. I just didn't draw my early game and then didn't draw any card generation. Essentially, I drew my early game at the end instead of uh, over the course of the run. So, just kind of a worst case scenario. Okay, these are cards that would have been nice last game. In particular, the Claw Machine, but I think we just go with the Loot Hoarder and trust that we'll draw it and do it later when we need it. We're still coming. Good God. Uh, I've already lost. <laughs> We'll figure it out. I probably will need to coin something here other than a loot order. It's 
It's an answer, but doesn't need to be right now. Ball hog's pretty good too. So I think it has to be the oof, the voodoo doll here. And for the sake of tempo, I think it might need to be a batty guest. And then we've got ball hog into hero power ectoplasm. We could also go with a piloted shredder. I need to be a piloted shredder because their card generation remains quite annoying for me. Okay. Maybe not. There's a decent 50 50 here. Oh, right, right, right. We get both. It is Battle Cry and Death Rattle. Doggy. I think I want to save the Vectus for when I have some more expensive and higher value Death Rattles into the mix. It's kind of an important question. Random 2-drop or what is effectively a random 2-drop off of the... Uh, like, I think on average things out of the piloted Shredder are probably better, but like the... The upside is also much higher. The downside is quite spooky as well. The Earth Mother was busy. Maybe it's just a domino effect? So I go here, domino effect, bump here. Hero power. And that's it. I mean, I don't think the domino effect is going to get any better than this. Could also just take this bump. So that we preserve the minion. And I probably do want to preserve the uh the play dead for something a little bit bigger. <laughs> nice aim. Unfortunately, this does uh, result in infinite resources for them. Very cool. Fun game for everyone involved. I think I have to lead with this. 
so that I can test for like objection and explosive before playing the Vectus or even the uh, claw machine for something. Yeah, they started this turn with like four cards in hand. Very cool and normal. Says rush, so playing this and then hero powering gives me some attackers that might be nice. Never mind, I don't get to play this game. Uh, I'm simply a spectator watching the opponent play. But at least this is the play that they made. If by some miracle I can make it to the Stoneborn General, there's hope. This is going to be the craziest one in three you've ever seen. Please, for the love of God, let it happen. Unlucky. Alright, well here's where they generate a spell that deals with this entirely. And... Probably just kind of transforms it. already played Devolving Missile, so they can't generate it there. I, the, this is such a miserable experience against this deck. You just literally spend half a like two-thirds of the game watching the opponent do things and then sitting there helplessly <laughs> like it's unbelievable how despite generating different cards every single time every game feels exactly the same against uh Kael'thas from your perspective because it's just like a bunch of cards flinging around and your hero eventually exploding.
Okay. This will be an interesting one. And we got a very good start this time around with the zombies. Like, especially into the hero power, this is just extraordinary. It's fine. Like, I'm even tempted to just keep hero powering to get these uh, tokens onto the board, because, like, it just farms the hero power. Perfect symmetry. One more. I want to clean one of these off next turn, probably play the piggyback in hero power. Or I just play one of those in hero power. I can do this all day. Now that said, we will probably need some healing at some point. But that is a problem for future Raffle. I think we actually got lucky this didn't die. Just keep applying pressure so that they have less time to shuffle bombs. That is a concern, though. Brute force is sometimes the answer. Wow. No friends around. Freeze a crowd. It does just need to die, right? We can all agree on that. to draw too much here. Hmm. I'm kind of running into issues where I don't have board space. <laughs> this will be fine. My minions are too sticky. Could clear my own board in its entirety here. Is that crazy? One, two, yeah, it also clears their whole board. And then gives me the space to play the matron. Oh, 
Also shuffles infinity bombs into my deck, which I'm aware of, but that's going to happen regardless. Now I can start working my way towards higher value death rattles so that I can finish the job. We do have 12 bombs in our deck. Which by my count is a lot of bombs. That one probably needs to die, right? Well, does it? That one definitely does. Holy. I think it's just Tonkin time. I could also just use the Dead Ringer at some point to fill my hand, since it does targeted draw. I would need to get, what, nine cards in hand to start the turn? And then play the play dead on it. Bump, bump. Well, that's a bit more of an issue now, isn't it? That's my spotlight. That's my spotlight. Oh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Why can't I get these one and threes? All right, <laughs> another chance, I guess. This is my moment. Oh, I shall be open. I really want a one drop, like getting another lingering zombie turn, could be quite good. This is also not bad. The uh, Dead Ringer was tempting given how last game against Zyrella went, but I think that that's just unnecessary if we actually get a two mana minion this time around. It's certainly less necessary. Just want to, like, make use of our good curve and. 
the fact that we have our hero power. And hopefully get silenced fewer times this time around. Playdead could do a lot of damage, as we've seen. Could also just go hero power, play this now. So that's one of the higher value hits we're going to get. Again, if this gets cleared, we have the Ring Matron to set back up. I wouldn't call that cleared, but it is the right number of minions. Tonkin time. No, I forget how much damage this does. I always think it's two missiles, but it's four. But we do be Tonkin. scale stalker would just be unbelievable right now I'll do it again simple just draw the tonks I think I did just stop whatever it is you're yapping about be a I mean this is probably pretty good in the matchup right but it wouldn't be a session of twist without running into a Cthune it seems so just don't let them get the board
force them to make this trade. This is one where Defile is honestly likely to be pretty good. effect is just likely to shred their entire board at some point. Bog also likely to do some work. Love is just an arrangement away. Concerning. This is actually a little difficult to deal with for me. It's a pretty difficult board for them to respond to, I think. Still kind of fine, because we just get a new one off of the hero power. Now, we do have the Tonk technology once again, but... We have significantly more damage that we have to do. That said, Hero Power Tonk into Shallow Grave can do a lot of damage. Love is just an arrangement away. On the bright side, I do, like, I'm not terribly weak to the, uh, row, like, the Blade of Cthulhu. That's as good a time as any for me. Hello. Let's do this. I didn't do anything. That was a lot of card draw, it turns out. Some would say too much card draw, in fact. Okay, are we at the point where we just kind of start ignoring their stuff, though? And just setting up taunts. And waiting for the domino effect to kick in. Okay, that might need to die. Rats. So there, Cthulhu is at 15. I've got the obsidian statue. And 
mean, I've got the ring matron. Upstairs we go. I bleed for uh, doggies. That's fine, that gives me this trade. board space it deals another eight to face we've still got it in the uh, rise again hero power which we can then pair with the baron and maybe some removal stuff to get a whole bunch of damage to face let's make magic like i think i sincerely want to try and avoid Playing other death rattle minions until I have to right now. Just so that I can get so much value off of the uh, tonks. hold here. Yeah. I want this off the board in particular. I think we've got enough going on that uh, we can still potentially win the resource battle and the board battle. Especially if the Baron survives, which it looks like it will. Is what that was. 
Oh, order. They likely just have to play the cartoon here. And that's what I've been saving the obsidian statue for. Maybe they don't. Wretched Queen is a lot of board stickiness, though. Stoneborn is a lot of pressure. If this uh, Baron stays on the board. Let's, uh, stone him. Me when I'm in biblical times and I can't think of a better punishment. This does leave me a little bit weak to... I guess it's the Blade of Cthulhu, but like... We still just have more Stoneborns to summon. So, I failed to see the part where that's my problem. Oh, ho 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 ho! Oh, that was so close. We still have lethal, but like, it was very, very close to the Baron surviving <laughs> and giving us two A-dates. I guess lethal is a good outcome. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for more Hearthstone tomorrow.